Hi, this is Seb from the Vinyl Engine talking. Uh, my job at the Vinyl Engine is to make some very complicated drawing and some complicated analysis with complicated formulas about alignment issues to help people to understand how how things are functioning and to help people to um, set up their turntable. Uh, this time I would like to make something very simple just to explain to Nubai, we we are all Nubai, just to explain uh, some issues behind alignment. So let's start by something very simple, let's start by taking a look at a turntable. This is my turntable, so let's have this red dot symbolizing the spindle center and this is the innermost groove, the last groove with music and the outermost groove, the first groove with music. Here is the pivot of the tone arm, this line stands for the mounting distance, this one for the effective length, this one stands for the cantilever and the angle you are having here is the offset angle. Your stylus will follow this path along your uh, record and the last part I'm adding is the other end. The problem is that the stylus on the record is following an arc. When a record is made, things are a little different, so let's make a record. Here you're having the cut ahead and the cut ahead is moving along a line passing through the center of the record. It's not an arc, it's a straight line. And if we had a tone arm on that drawing, that's it. You don't care about the distance I'm indicating. And we are aligning the cartridge the pairward way, love grain A. The green line stands for the line coming from the pivot to the stylus, and the blue line stands for the country lever. And your angle is the offset angle. We are adding a perpendicular line to the blue line. And this is the problem. The problem is that we are missing the center of the record. You're not exactly with the stylus like you were with the cutting head. And this is the tracking error. Let's take a look now at what is a groove. And we're using again that cut ahead and we are making a groove. As you can see on the picture, a groove is a very complicated thing. Let's take a look at this groove and we'll add, a, after that we'll add a tone arm to that groove. Just to see that if the cutter had met, made a groove away, your stylus on that groove is really another way. That's it. I had a little tracking error, it's not as big as, as you can see here. So, we know what is the tracking error and we now need to understand that the given tracking error is having consequences in terms of distortion that differ according to where you are on the record. The pink part here are indicating the path following by a stylus when you are listening to one second of music. All the calculus are indicated here and we will see that this path is something like 500 millimeters at the innermost groove, at the outermost groove, and at the innermost groove it's only 210 millimeters. Still one second of music, and you're guessing that signals are more concentrated when you are closer to the spinal center. And a given tracking error will produce more distortion at the end of the LP than at the beginning of the LP. And now, the full Monte. Uh, a point here is to see what's happening when you are aligning correctly your cartridge using here the Bearwald Lovegun A solution. This graph is growing, is, is having three parts. We are gonna, going to follow the path of the stylus to the record. At the top left, there is a close-up of the what's happening to see the tracking error, what's happening at the spindle center, and then 
uh, at the bottom left there is distortion measured by formulas, complicated formulas, you don't care. As you can see, distortion is declining. Declining until we reach the first null point. That's it. And then distortion is climbing again, the tracking error is then negative and we are about to reach the second null point at 66 mm from the spinal center. The first one is at what 120.9 mm. We are about to reach a point here where the distortion is maximum and just after that distortion will decline sharply very quickly and will be equal to zero at the second null point. And the distortion is now going very high. So, some words of conclusions. What have we seen? Uh, we have seen that at the Alamos groove tracking error is maximum and the distortion is maximum too. See, on, on every alignment technique uh, as long as they are serious. At the null points, tracking error and distortion are null. First null point at 120.9, second at 66 millimeters. Um, next screen, please. At the innermost groove, distortion is equal to the value we observed at the outermost groove, even if tracking error is lower. This is the result of the Lovegren A bare world solution. Somewhere between the null points, the distortion is again as its maximum value, the one we saw at the beginning at the end. Complaints against, uh, against my bad usage of English language should be. And uh, Steven Spielberg, if you ever read me, please contact me. And that's it. Mm, have a nice day.